In this video, I'll show you how to assign resources to scheduler appointments and group these appointments by category. I've already configured a scheduler that displays appointments for two days. The appointments are stored in the Appointment Collection class. The appointment objects have several fields defined, caption, start date, and so on. When I bind the scheduler to data, I map appointment properties to these fields. Let's run the app. These are my appointments. Each appointment has a caption and shows a start and end date. Now I'm going to assign different employees to these tasks. After that, I can browse tasks related to each employee and group them. I declare a class that stores resource options. Then I create the resource source property and assign a collection of resource objects to it. For each resource, I define options ID, name, text CSS, and background CSS. I also create a DX scheduler resource mappings object and map the resources source fields to the resources properties. And I edit mappings for appointments. Now our appointment will have one more property, resource ID. Let's add mappings for it. Then I'll go to the appointment collection. As you can see, I already have code that specifies resource ID values for the appointments. I uncomment this code, and I run my application again. You see that appointments have different background colors that correspond to different employees. For example, this appointment is assigned to John Hart, and this appointment is for Samantha Bright. The scheduler includes a drop-down resource navigator window. Here, you can filter resource groups as needed. You can edit resources or remove them. Now I'll demonstrate how to group scheduled appointments by resource. To do this, I specify the group type property to resource. And let's view the changes. The scheduler component displays two dates for each resource. Date headers are grouped under resource headers. When you drag an appointment to another resource group, the resource is changed for this appointment. You can also create a new appointment for the needed resource. The resource is specified automatically. I can also group these appointments by dates. I set the group type property to date. Now resource headers are grouped under date headers. You can still use the resource navigator to filter the appointments. You can also create a custom resource navigator. You can view our demos to figure out how to implement it. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.